Greetings and good morning to you. God is so good. Psalm 27. I read from verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Uh, the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, uh, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Do an host. Uh, should encamp against me, my heart uh, shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Listen, David is not talking within a vacuum. He's talking out of an experience. Because you see, on some occasions, uh, David, persons who were supposed to be his friend, turned to be his enemy. Jonathan was his close friend, but yet King Saul, Jonathan's father, turned against uh, David and he actually brought a host against David, a part of his army uh, to capture and to kill David. Listen, uh, the text says, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. When an individual is doing God's will and doing what God wants him to do, please remember you do not have to be afraid. I would have thought that a young fellow like David against a seasoned soldier like King Saul should be afraid. But David said he was not afraid. Why? Because the Lord is the one that gave him light. The Lord was a light and his salvation. He was not afraid of anyone. Listen, if you are afraid of somebody today, there's nothing wrong in being afraid, but you have to check yourself. Why are you afraid? Are you doing things that go against the will of God? If you are doing God's will, listen, ask God to strengthen you as you continue to do his will. Because no matter what you do, remember that there will be enemies. But when we put our trust in God, we do not have to be afraid of those enemies. God and Father, help somebody today who is afraid to check themselves first and to see if they are walking in accordance with your will and doing that which you want them to do. Once they are doing that, please, Father, grant them the confidence to continue doing your will. Guide us as we go through the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you. Oh, sweet the living water from the hills of God, it makes me glad and happy all the way. Now glory, grace, and blessing mark the path I've trod. I'm shouting hallelujah.